In this video, we will talk about absolute values as distances. All right, so when I write the absolute value of some number a minus some number b, this represents the distance. The distance between, the distance between a and B. So let's look at some examples. So e.g., for example, if I write the absolute value of 7 minus 4, I know that when I do this, I'll get absolute value of 3, which is just 3. So visually, if I draw a number line, and I'm going to plot these two numbers on it. The a, in this case, is 7, and the b, in this case, is 4. And notice that the distance between 7 and 4 on the number line is 3. And that's what doing the absolute value of their difference represents. It's telling us the distance between those two. Okay, let's do one more example. What if we did absolute value of something plus something? 7 plus 4. Well, this looks different than the absolute value of a minus b, but I can get it in that form if I write it as absolute value of 7 minus negative 4. All right, so... We know that this is going to be 11, but if I go on a number line and work out what it is, this is now the distance between 7 and negative 4. Negative 4 is going to be way over here. And that distance between these two numbers is, in fact, 11. So being able to think of absolute values of something minus something as distances is going to be critical to the stuff that we do later in this section. But before we get there, let's do some more practice problems thinking of absolute values as distances. So example, let's solve for x. Draw your answers on a number line and write them in interval notation. So we have these inequalities that involve absolute values. So let's think of each of these as, as distances. So the left-hand side is saying the distance between x, whatever the number x is, and 10 is, and then we have a less than symbol, so the distance between x and 10 is less than 4. So let's depict this on a number line. So I am going to draw a number line, and it's talking about the distance between some unknown number and 10. So well, let's put 10. I'm not totally sure what, where, what x can be just yet. But whatever x is, the distance between x and 10 has to be less than 4. So if I were to go 4 in this direction, to the right, that would put me at 14. If I were to go 4 in the other direction, that would put me at 6. So I can go up to a distance of 4, sorry, I can go less than a distance of 4 away from 10. So if we shade in the places where x can be, x can be right at 10, because then the distance is 0. Uh, we can start to increase the distance, increase the distance, increase it. Once I get to 14, the distance is 4. But it can't be, f the problem says the distance has to be less than 4. So I put an open circle at 14. I cannot be exactly at 14. Now let's go in the other, uh, other direction from 10. Starting to increase the distance, increase the distance. And similarly, I cannot be exactly at 6, because then the distance would be 4. And the distance has to be less than 4. So there's my number line. And let's write this in interval notation. It would be parentheses at 6 to 14. Parentheses there, because those endpoints are not included. And that is my answer. That's how we can solve this inequality with absolute values, thinking of it as distances. Let's do some more practice problems. Part B adds an extra condition. The absolute value of x minus 10 also has to be greater than 1. So in words, this is saying that the distance, I'll abbreviate distance, between x and 10 is, well, it's got to be greater than 1, and it's got to be less than 4. So more simply, I could say that that distance is strictly between, it is strictly between 1 and 4. The distance has to be something between 1 and 4. And when I say the word strictly, that means that it can't be equal to. So if I just said the distance between x and 10 is between 1 and 4, 
that might imply that the distance can be 1, and it also can be 4. But when I say strictly between, that means it cannot be equal to 1 or equal to 4. So let's draw this on a number line. So I have my number line. Let's put 10 on it. That's kind of my reference point. So the distance between x and 10 has to be something strictly between 1 and 4. So I have to go at least a distance away. I have to go at least a distance of 1 away from 10. So 1 in this direction and 1 in this direction. If I do that, I would be at 11 here and uh, 9 in this direction. And then I, I can't be more than 4 away from 10. So if I go a distance of 4 in this direction, and a distance of 4 in this direction, we've already seen those numbers. This is 14, and that was 6. So I got to be somewhere between a distance of 1 and 4 away. So that means I could be in this region between 11 and 14. That would be between a distance of 1 and 4 away. Open circle at 14 and open circle at 11 because I cannot be equal to a distance of 1 or equal to a distance of 4. All right, so similarly, I'm going to shade in the region between 6 and 9. Open circle at 9, open circle at 6, because the distance can't be 1 and it can't be 4. It's got to be strictly between those. So if I write this in interval notation, we get 6 to 9 for the first interval, and then union 11 to 14 for the next interval. And that is our answer. Let's do one more part. So part C is really similar. It just changes uh, the 1 to a 0. So for this one, writing in words, it's saying that the distance between, I'll just abbreviate between as well, between x and 10 is strictly between. The distance between those numbers is strictly between 0 and 4. 0 and 4. So let's make a number line. Let's put 10 on it as a reference point. And then, so the distance can be up to 4 away from 10. So 4 in this direction puts me at 14. 4 going to the left puts me at 6. I can go up to a distance of that far. Let's put open circles there because I can't be exactly at those numbers because then the distance would be equal to 4. But I don't have an equal sign on that inequality. And then because this number is 0 now, and the distance between x and 10 is strictly between 0 and 4, that means the distance can't be 0. So this distance can't be 0, which means that x is not allowed to be equal to 10. And because x can't be 10, I have to put an open circle there at 10. And I get to shade in all of this between 10 and 14, strictly between them, and then strictly between 6 and 10. So an in interval notation, I get 6 to 10 for the first interval. A union, 10 to 14. And that is my answer. So when I have this inequality that said 0 is less than absolute value of x minus 10, what that told us was that x is not allowed to be equal to 10. And I could see that if I plugged in, if I plug in 10 into this, it would have given me 0 is less than 0, which is just not true. So I don't want to include 10 in what's being shaded. In terms of our goals for this section, we finished goal 1, expressing absolute values as distances. So this was a bit of review from algebra. We're going to start to use this now to define a limit more precisely.